Hey Bears! I am the Gaming Chrisley, and today I want to talk about more skin ideas that we could have gotten during the Junji Ito crossover event that were probably too scary for Identity 5. Or maybe we're gonna get some of these skins during a part 2 of the Junji Ito crossover in the future? Who knows? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below and also if you're new, subscribe to the Gaming Christie and leave a fat like on this video. Alright, let's jump right into it. Quick disclaimer, this video contains spoilers for the Junji Ito collection. The first character skin could be the Hell Doll from The Hell Doll Funeral. It's a fairly short story about a girl that turns into a doll and then quickly into a scary creature. This could be a skin for the new survival psychologist since they really look alike in my opinion. Or a skin for the mechanic with an accessory that turns the mechanic's doll into the scary creature version of the doll. Next up we have Fuchi, who is a character from the episode Fashion Model. She's a model, but a rather unique one. Fuchi is shocking people by her horrifying appearance. When the film crew is searching for a female lead character, they find out that Fuchi has sent in an application to play that character and since she has a high status in the fashion industry, the crew decided to hire her because a professional model would raise the profile of the movie. Everyone drives out to a mountain for the shooting. The crew is a little terrified of Fuji and they decide to record all her scenes in one go so they could get rid of her. But Fuji has other plans. In my opinion the appearance of Fuji would make for a great skin for the disciple. The way Fuji runs through the forest could also be implemented as an accessory for the disciple that could make her look like that when she dashes toward her cats. The next skin idea could come from the episode Long Dream, in which Tetsuro Mokoda admitted himself into a hospital because he had long dreams. Each night the dreams became longer and longer. It started with one day, later became a month, a year, a decade and all of that in only one night. Sometimes the dreams are pleasant, but sometimes he is stuck in nightmares for years. Within days his appearance aged by years too and he feared to fall into an endless dream. Until one night his body just crumbled apart, only leaving dust and small crystals behind. These crystals were later used on a terminal ill patient, Mami Takeshima, who is afraid of dying, so the doctor secretly gave her the crystals to give her the long dreams too, to make her live forever, at least in her dreams. The Tsuro Mokoda would make a terrifying skin for the Ripper. The way the Ripper disappears in the game could turn into the way Tetsuro Mokoda turned into dust while dreaming as a special effect. Other characters from the story like Mami Takeshima could also make a scary skin for the Geisha with a normal form and a slowly dying or rather dreaming form after she got in contact with the crystals when the Geisha attacks. The doctor himself could also get a character skin since he is the one secretly doing this experiment. In my opinion the lawyer could be a great fit for that role. We also have an episode that is called Shivers. There is a mysterious jade stone that is covered with holes and whoever gets in contact with the stone will be cursed. The cursed person's body will be covered in holes too and on top of that the cursed person will be visited by the jade servant who will visit and follow the cursed person wherever they are going. In the story we saw several people getting cursed, so they could be several survivor skins whose bodies are all covered in scary holes. And the servant could be the hunter who is hunting down or following the targets that are cursed or you know just hunting down the survivors. In Junji Ito's story The Circus is here, we get to see a huge variation of characters. During the circus show all performers are getting killed during their act while the audience watches in horror but isn't able to leave. All performers are promised that if they are able to finish their performance they can marry Leilia, the beautiful tightrope walker. The ringmaster is a Shinigami, a god of death, and he is not letting anyone survive their performance. We see variations of characters that could come as a skin. Leilia as a female dancer or maybe even a perfumer and the ringmaster as smiley face. And for other characters we could see the forward, the better, acrobat, first officer and much much more. In the episode Smash the story is about a secret nectar that is gathered from a very unique tree. 
It is said that if you are drinking the nectar, you are not supposed to be noticed. Later in the story it's revealed that the tree itself is not allowed to notice you or else it will smash you with its gigantic hand-like branches. The tree could be a great feaster skin, with the tentacles turning into hand-like branches that will try to slap the survivors. And if we look at the characters in this episode, there are a few similarities that would work out for great survivor skins. There are for example two girls in that episode that can't stop drinking the nectar because it's so delicious. So one of the girls could be a skin for the barmaid since she is mixing drinks and these drinks could actually be bottles of the desired nectar. And in the end of the episode we can see Kameda obtaining a map that leads to the mysterious tree. Using this map he is on the search for the origin of the nectar. Therefore Kameda could be a perfect skin for the lawyer and his map. So those were some of the crossover ideas when it comes to the anime of the Junji Ito collection. But in the manga there are so many more stories to tell. For example the hanging balloons, which are literally balloons with the faces of people and nooses attached to them. These balloons could turn into a hunter special accessory that turns the normal balloons in the game into survivor head balloons. Then there is one of my favorite stories, Usumaki. In this story the town is controlled by the spiral form. Everything and everyone is obsessed with it. We have for example Mr. Saito who is obsessed with the spirals using his own body to create them. One image specifically really made me think about how this could be a really cool skin for the evil reptilian. Imagine how creepy it would be to get chased by that. Another character from Usumaki who could make for a really good and really scary hunter skin is Asami. Asami has a spiral shaped scar on her forehead which starts to spiral further and further into her head. And even though she seems to be a normal girl at the beginning, this spiral turns into a creepy looking hole in her head and it becomes so enormous that at one point even her eyes start spiraling down the hole and then the spiral tries to consume everything. This could also be a great skin for the geisha and her two forms. And last but not least there is also Kyrie, one of the main characters of this story, whose hair start to form the shape of spirals. The hair began to have a life on its own too and whoever looked at it was mesmerized. Shuichi, a good friend of her, even got entangled and cocooned up inside her hair. This could be a perfect skin for the violinist who is using his hair to play the violin. Or for the soul weaver who is also able to cocoon up survivors. And those are some of the characters from the Junji Ito collection that could have gotten a skin or maybe will get a skin in the future. What are your thoughts on that? Leave me comments in the comment section below and of course if you are new, subscribe to the gaming Chrisley and leave me a fat like. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!